everyone, today I'm going to answer a question that countless real fans have. Why do the RS5Ts sound horrible on locomotives such as Norfolk 7, 6920, and all the 6900 series locomotives that have RS5Ts? That is because they are overblown. Almost 90% of the horns on Norfolk Southern's roster have some sort of restrictions, such as the K5LA on the Dash 9s and or the RS3Ls on the Dash 840CWs. This is my S5D. Now, the way Norfolk Southern sets them up. So we got bells 25... 31, 37, 44, and 55. I have mine as an RRO, but it's not reversed. So let's say that this is the 31 bell. No, let's say this is the 31 bell, and let's say this is the 55 bell. Let's just turn that around. Norfolk 7 sets them up just like Norfolk and Western does. This is how Norfolk Southern set, sets up their RS5Ts. 25, 37, 44 facing forward, 55 and 31 facing away. Now, of those RS5Ts, they would be labeled as RS5TRFs, RS5Ts with bell reversals and fully orifice, full orifice. So full orifice means that all of the inlets or the dowel pins that are used are drilled all the way, which is one eighth inch, I believe. So that means that they all the horns will get an equal amount of air at the same level. Now, the reason why 6920's horn sounds so bad, not only is it fully orificed, but it is not restricted. Solenoid valves will deliver a horn, an amount of air specifically at a very high level very quickly. It's like punching the diaphragm very quickly. It will sound okay after about a week or two, but since the 37 bell, which would be facing forward, has a tendency to lag, you won't hear the 37 bell. That's what it sounded like at one point. I will leave a link in the description. It will be labeled as number one. Now, the restrictors look like let me see if I can find it something similar to this except without this big piece they look something like this where they have a, a piece that is made for allen keys so that they can be easily taken apart and put in to the base of the horn now, why it sounds like crap now. Being on a solenoid valve for so long, not restricted, pounding the diaphragms, will make it sound like what it sounds like now. I'll leave a link in the description, and that will be labored as number two. Now, as for other locomotives, such as the SD40Es, that is just from being put on a non on a solenoid valve, but not as high as an air pressure. So it still has some of the bells sounding, but it's still hitting the diaphragms quite hard. Now, the reason why the ones on the dash nines and the ones on seventy five fifty and eighty one twenty sound awesome, they are being restricted by a quarter inch. Now that means that they have the same amount of air pressure because they are fully orificed, but 
the diaphragms, they're not hitting them as hard. So they will last much longer than they did on like 6920. And I believe 6979 had one. I'm not sure though. 6917 had a K5H. But I don't think it has an RS5T. So the rest of the ones that are on the SD60E series, they are slowly but surely sounding like 6920. In the mere future, that's what they will sound like. Unless something really strange happens. Now, there is one video of 6920's RS5T after you know, going through a series of maintenance. I'll leave a link in the description that will be labeled as number three. So, just a little bit of a video. Thanks for watching.